you know, get that momentum back on your side. And we've done a pretty good job of that so far this year. Um, you know, we've got a pretty good lineup up and down. So it really doesn't matter what inning it is. Who's ever coming up, we've got a chance to score. So, uh, you know, it was a good job. I know when they scored that second run, made it two to nothing. And then we, we scored three and really changed the momentum because it looked like they were just kind of chipping away. And we hadn't really gotten any big hits yet. We left some runners out there. And, you know, we still left a lot on. I guess I'm looking here, we left 14 on, but, but we did still, you know, we scored nine runs. But uh, you, we felt like we could have scored a lot more. But any time that a team scores, you got to try to, you got to slow them down a little bit. And we've done a great job of that so far this year. And that was the first time we've seen Plyman. Uh, what, what did he do to, to earn the start today? And, and how would you assess the, his overall outing? Well, you know, what he did to earn it was, you know, the last couple of weeks, we've had some guys struggle. Uh, so we felt like we, we needed some more help and maybe some experience there. And he's got some experience, he's an older kid. And uh, I got up to a slow start in the fall. I think I mentioned that before, but, the, you know, we, we didn't really know what to do. We were going to redshirt and pitch him. And uh, the last couple of weeks, he's thrown some really good bullpens and we had live hitting and he got after some of our hitters pretty good for about three innings. And uh, we just felt like that he might be a guy that we could get out there. And uh, I'm sure he'll get on the mound again some other time later this season. Nate, kind of a morale boost was it for Goodhart to finally get a game in the field at first base? And just how do you feel he did there? I thought he did good. I thought our defense has done a great job overall. I mean, really, I think we made one error the whole Alabama series. We made an error today. We didn't make one yesterday. And, you know, we played solid defense, turned some double plays. But Matt, Matt played a good first base, hit the ball really well. I mean, it was really good to see. Thanks. Tom. Hey, Braden Webb had a really interesting series. He reached base nine out of 11 times. Um, uh, does he look like he's earning some more steady playing time on the weekends too? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, if we played, played tomorrow, I plan on playing him. I think he's a really, really good defender. He, he makes pitchers work on the mound. It takes a walk, gets hit by pitches. Obviously, had a double and a homer in the last couple of days and scored a lot of runs for us. So, uh, you know, you can throw the batting average out the window, in my opinion. And really, I'm just going out on what I've seen the last few days. And I think I mentioned it last night, you know, even with the batting average where it was, you know, that's going to bother a lot of people. He's not up there every at bat trying to get two hits at once. It can't happen. He's, he's just playing the game. He's taking his walks. I mean, he could be swinging a little bit more trying to get that batting average up, but he's taking a mature approach and, He's just letting the game come to him a little bit. And uh, it's, it's really, it's helped him. It's helped us and, you know, get definitely gives us another option. Okay. And I missed it. If Oliver said this is going to serve as the Mississippi state preview, is that correct? That's correct. That yep. sounds like yeah. yeah. So just how you feel about going into conference road series at a team that's playing as well as they are. Yeah. I mean, what they're one of the best teams in the country. There's statistically uh, their pitching staff is, as good as anybody in the country, maybe the deepest in the country. Um, you know, offensively, they've got a really good lineup, a lot of left-handed hitters. Uh, they just keep coming at you. And if they get ahead of you, they've got a couple guys in the bullpen that, you know, come in and usually get it done. So uh, we know what we're headed into. We're headed into a, uh, a place that has a great baseball team. And not only that, I think they get to have full capacity. So that's probably going to be around twelve to fourteen thousand, maybe more. So uh, it'll be uh, it'll definitely be a challenge, and uh, we'll see how we handle it. And Dave, in a way, this is kind of the full circle series for you guys because that's where you were heading at this point. You know, last year, um, what's the last year been like dealing with the things you've dealt with, and you guys feel like you're kind of in a maybe in a COVID groove at this point, and how you how you handle your bubble? Yeah, I mean. I think the players have done a great job of handling it. You know, these guys are getting tested twice a week and, you know, they had to get tested today before the game so they can get on a plane tomorrow. They had to get tested Monday so that they could play Tuesday and Wednesday. And if it all goes well and they all get on the plane tomorrow, that gets them through the weekend. I mean, it never stops. It's nonstop. And, uh, but the last year has been, it's been tough on everybody. I mean, you know, I think we've all answered the question a bunch, but it's, uh, it's almost a year that you almost, don't know where it went, uh, at least when it comes to, you know, sports or, you know, losing a season the way we did. Uh, but it's, it's good to see the, the way the, the teams responded. They just seem to have a little more giddy up and 
you can tell every game, game means a little bit more than maybe example midweek games or they mean a little more than they they, they did maybe in the past because they just appreciate the opportunity to get, to get out on the field and play. So, yeah, it's been it's been about a year, year and a week maybe uh, since we got shut down, and uh, you know we're looking forward to going to Starkville, uh, and we know how good they are. We got we got to see them play three games in Arlington. They're really good. Uh, I'll back to you. Yeah, you mentioned Ramage earlier. Uh, it seemed like he settled down after that great play by Smith over at third. Uh, what did you think of, of what he did on the mound today? Well, you know, he gave up a, a fly ball home run. The ball had backspin and just kind of floated about an extra 15 feet because of that light wind. And uh, I think it shook him up a little bit. He's trying to make a move and, and you know, for himself on the staff and get to pitch more and uh, then he gave up the line drive, and, and Smith made a great play. I mean, if that ball gets through there, then they got second and third and no outs, and uh, they've already got a run in. So uh, I think he calmed down after that, like you like you said, you mentioned, and he pitched well. He, he threw strike one. He threw either sliders and uh, a really good fastball he was spotting up. And uh, normally he throws a lot of change-ups. We didn't throw a change-up. He didn't throw it at all, uh, as a matter of fact. So. Uh, just proud of him for hanging in there because he hadn't pitched much and older guy is used to being used and he had a couple of rough outings and he kind of waited his time and, uh, you know, paid off for, you know, for Cole and the team. And what did you see from Bates? Uh, he fell behind 0-2 and then had that, the big two run single there in the third. Uh, he had a great day. We, we talked about it a little bit in front of the team after the game. He, he hadn't played a whole lot just keeps working, he impresses us in batting practice and works hard in the game or in, in practice trying to get in the game. And, you know, uh, for him to go out and get two hits, drive in runs, and then actually the best ball he hit was caught. I mean, it's the way the game works. He, he actually backed that ball up. That ball was slicing away from the right fielder who made a great catch on it. I mean, if he didn't catch it, obviously that's a double and three RBIs and that game's over. But, uh, you know, it was, it was just good to see him come in there and compete, not, you know, really look rusty or looking for maybe a guy that says, well, if it doesn't go good, you know, I haven't played much. He was out there trying to earn a spot. Nate, anything else? Yeah, as much the rotation this weekend against Mississippi State and also just how much did it help be able to rest some of the regulars these two games? Yeah, the rotation will be uh, Wicklander, Vermillion and Lockhart, and then the rest of the guys, it was about as it was it went about as well as it could have gone since we won both games. We got to play a lot of youngsters yesterday and and won, and then brought some of the guys back today and rested some of the older guys that played yesterday today. And uh, we 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 played all fifteen of the position players in the last two days. They all got a start uh, the last two days, so you know keep keep us fresh a little bit and. and you know, hopefully we'll be able to do this, you know, maybe not to this extreme, uh, but be able to do this in some fashion when we play. Uh, I think we have two more weeks where we play five games. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad it went well. What's Paulette's role then this weekend? Yeah, I mean, he, uh, he'll, he'll be out of the pen. We wanted to get him on the mound last night, and just kind of get that Alabama game out of his system a little bit. And, um so we're, we have confidence in him, obviously. And, you know, if Wicklander gives us X amount of innings, I mean, I'd be Paulette. It, it depends on how many innings we go and what the score is. But, uh, you know, he'll be a big part of that, that bullpen this weekend. Thanks. Don, um, last one from you. Yeah, and what's the expectation for Patrick on Friday night? <clears throat> well, you know, he has experience. It's not like he hasn't pitched in regional, super regionals, conference games on the road at home. Uh, if he can give us four quality innings, that'd be great. Anything over that would be even better. Uh, you know, we're facing a tough left-hander unless they change their rotation order. Uh, a really good right-hander on on Saturday. So it's uh, – the more innings he gives us, obviously, the better. But, you know, just just go out and compete hard and and, and do what he did against Alabama. And, uh, and, and good things will happen. If they don't, we'll go to the next guy. Appreciate your time, Coach. Okay. See you.